video for UFC Fight Night Whitaker versus Brunson. Let's start at the bottom. The first fight is Marlon Vera versus Ning Naguyan. And this is kind of like a wrestler versus a jiu-jitsu guy. Both these guys aren't great strikers, and both these guys were on kind of shitty seasons. Ning was the winner of the tough uh, China, and I think Vera got second place in the Latin America one. I'm going to go with Vera. I think his jiu-jitsu is just a little bit better than Ning's wrestling. I think sooner or later this fight's going to hit the ground, and when it does, Vera's going to eventually lock up a submission. Next is Tyson Pedro versus Khalil uh, Roundtree. And Khalil was on the Ultimate Fighter. He got he came in second, but he lost in the first round. I think he just got lucky and caught that guy in the second round. I don't remember the whole season. I just remember the guy that won. The guy that um, the other guy was pretty good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I remember all their names, but Tyson Pedro looks like a solid up and comer. He's four and zero, and I feel like this is basically striker versus grappler. Um, Tyson's got a really solid jujitsu game, and Khalil's basically. You know, his, his takedown defense isn't great, and I feel like we saw that in the Ultimate Fire finale. He continually got taken down by um, Andrew Sanchez, the guy that won, and just got beat up. And I think that's what's going to happen. I think Tyson Pedro's gonna, just going to hit takedown after takedown eventually, either win by decision or submission. Next is Soihee Ham versus Daniil Taylor, and I'm going to pick Soihee Ham. I think that, you know, she got screwed on her last fight. I think she clearly won that decision. She was just fighting that chick's hometown. I think, you know, she lost to Joanne Calderwood, but Joanne Calderwood's one of the best strikers in this division. But aside from that, she should be 2-1 and one right now. Um, and I just feel like Daniil is just okay. I think Sohi Han's just the better striker, like, slash, takedown defense type of chick. So I say she wins by decision. Next is Yao Zai Ku versus Janil uh, Lasai. And Lasai looks like he's really good. He looks like he's got good striking, good wrestling, good jiu-jitsu. Um, he's six and two overall, but he looks all right. He does. He looks like he, he's primarily a striker with some grappling. As where Yao is just, he's kind of shitty. His record's like two and three, two and four. He's basically a striker, but that's about it. He's not overly impressive anywhere else. I feel like I think his record's like one and two in the UFC. I don't know why he's still getting another fight. I just feel like he's kind of cat and fodder for um, Lasai. So I'm gonna pick Lasai. Say he wins by either decision or submission. Next is Dan Hooker versus Jason Knight, and I think this is going to be a fun fight, pretty back and forth fight. I think these guys have the same style where it's basically kind of like striking with jujitsu. but I'm going to pick Dan Hooker. I think he's just a little bit longer, and I think he's just a little bit better at both wrestling and jujitsu. I think this is going to be a fun fight, though. I think this might be the fight of the night, but I'm going to say Dan Hooker wins by either decision or maybe like a late finish in the third. Next is Ben Nguyen versus Gene Herrera, and these guys are pretty similar. I say Gene's the better grappler and Ben's the better striker. I think if Ben can keep this standing, he'll probably win by knockout. If Gene can get to the ground, he might win by submission, but Ben's pretty solid there too. I think Ben's definitely got a big speed advantage, and I think that's gonna be the difference. I think he's gonna go at him pretty Gene pretty hard and he'll probably clip him early and he'll probably win by TKO in the first round. So I'm pick Naguyan. Next is Richard Walsh versus Joe uh I can't say his last name. But these guys are both basically strikers. I think Joe's got a little bit better of a grappling game, and I think that's going to be the difference. Richard Walsh, he hasn't really impressed me since he's come to the UFC. I think his record's like 2-3, and three, and both of his wins were fights that I thought he could have easily knocked the guy out if he just put some combinations together, but he was just playing it super safe, and he won them both by decisions. And then all of his losses were fights where he just didn't look amazing, and he just kind of got beat up. So I'll pick Joe. I think, you know, Joe had that one loss in the UFC, but it was to a really good guy. But I think before that, he was 7-0, and like I said, I think he's more well-rounded, and I think he'll probably get the decision in this fight. Next is Damian Brown versus John Tuck, and this is two jujitsu guys, and Damian Brown, I mean, not Damian, Damian Brown is just an okay guy. He's got some hands, but he's primarily a grappler. I think the same thing with John Tuck, he's got some hands, but his jujitsu is just way better, and I think this fight's going to hit the ground, and when it does, John Tuck's just going to eventually take his back and win by rear naked choke, so I got Tuck by first round rear naked. Next is Daniel Kelly versus Chris Camozzi, and this is, you know, I'd say Kelly's got the better grappling, I think Camozzi's the better striker, and it basically comes down to conditioning in my opinion, and I think Camozzi's definitely the better conditioned fighter. I think Dan Kelly, you know, he's like 40-something, I think he's like 41, 42, and Camozzi, you know, I think he's only like 30, and We've seen in the past, Kamuzi's good at um, surviving and, you know, beating people up throughout the whole fight. And I think that's what's going to happen. I think Dan Kelly might win the first, maybe most of the second. But I think eventually 
Kamoza is going to tie him up and hit him with like a big knee or something and eventually win by TKO. Next is Yuki E. Yusaki Kasuya versus Alex. I'm not even going to try to say his last name. And I think Alex is a really solid up and comer from Australia. I think he's like half Russian. But um, he, he's got good striking, good grappling. I think he's like 14 and 1. And I think they're just kind of trying to give him a guy who's really one, one dimensional. I think Yusaki is just a jiu jitsu guy, and that's about it. I think Alex is going to stuff the takedowns and just kind of outpoint him for the majority of the fight and eventually win by decision. Next is Kyle Nope versus Omar, Omari Akhmadov. And Omari, you know, uh, it, we've seen it before. He's really good, but he just gasses. And when he gasses, he leaves his hands really low, and guys just knock him out. And that's what's happened in his last two fights. He was winning both those fights, and then come the third round, he was just so gassed, he got knocked out. And I feel like that's what's going to happen here. Unless he catches Kyle Nook. I feel like Kyle Nook's biggest weakness is sometimes he doesn't pull the trigger when he needs to, but... I think that when he sees Omari that gas, he's just going to go after him and eventually get the finish. As long as Kyle Nook doesn't get caught, I should say he wins by third round knockout. Next is Jake Matthews versus Andrew Holbrook. And they're just kind of feeding Jake Matthews a fight here. Andrew Holbrook is like a jiu-jitsu guy, but he's not a great fighter overall in my opinion. I think Jake Matthews has got the better jiu-jitsu, better wrestling, better striking. I think no matter where this fight goes, he's probably going to be a little bit better and eventually he'll win by TKO. Next is Robert Whitaker versus Derek Brunson. And Derek Brunson's been coming on pretty strong lately. I feel like, you know, his wrestling's still really good and his striking's getting better. But I just feel like Robert Whitaker's got a big speed advantage. And he's already, we've already seen Robert Whitaker fight this type of fight a couple of times already. And he's beaten those guys with those long limbs and uh, that are a little bit faster than him. I think that his striking technique is definitely way better than Derek Brunson's is. And I think that he, he'll be able to keep moving forward on him, and eventually he'll clip Derek Brunson. So I've got Whitaker. I think that Whitaker will probably win by knockout. I'm not sure what round. This 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 probably, if the if the Dan Hooker fight doesn't get fight tonight, I think this one will. But I think sooner or later, Robert Whitaker is going to get in on him and eventually hit him with a big hook or something and win by knockout. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe.